very grateful to meet you on this platform. I am Bakitsanan Dube, a student of MCZ. You can introduce yourself. I am Ernest Masina, a resident in Bulawayo and Matebelen province. And um, my nationality is just as I've said, I'm in Debele. Swazi by tribe. Sina, thank you very much for introducing me, for welcoming me to this uh, for a discussion about the Ndebele culture. Uh, perhaps, Mr. Masina, I'm concerned. I saw a certain dances uh, last week at Masin today. Uh, for example, there are these uh, people who were dancing, wearing a certain regard. What type of dances were those? Um, I'll tell you the right thing. That type of a dance is called a mapiza. You know what a mapiza means? It, it means horses. Those people, when they dance, they pretend they run like horses. And this is done by the people of Plum Tree, known as the Kalara, tribally. <laughs> Generally, in, in Matebele land and uh, looking at the tradition of, uh, of these people, uh, what major role do such dances play in the Matebele culture? <laughs> They are cultural dances. Some are, well, dances when we make uh, celebrations, annual celebrations, and some are when we are holding marriage feasts, and some are when somebody from afar is uh, being involved back home, a welcome back home. That is the Mr. Masina, what do you recommend everyone should do in this region of Matebele land? I recommend that everybody and anybody who is within Matebele region should work out their way culturally. And there's nothing called in culture regional movement. No, it is cultural whether you are in Debele, Tonga, Kalanga, you are having a right to, 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 to breed your own cultural dances. <laughs> As we have heard from Mr. Masina himself, Matebeleland provinces are full of a lot of various cultures and this encompass a lot of dances that include those that are staged for celebrations, weddings and so forth. Next week we are going to be looking at the regalia that is being worn by these people as they are dancing. Thank you very much. Till next week.